And welcome back to What's Burning. We've got a high-profile guest with us here today. Man, you, we just need to get you a room here. You're on no Lake kid. TV so much lately. Good to see you, Chris. It's Thank the mayor for... of Osage Beach, Michael Harmison, also the owner of uh, Harmy's Cheese Store, yes, right? Sir. Yes, and sir. Uh, Harmy's Pooch and all that. <laughs> yes, sir. Okay, so we uh, asked Mayor Harmison if you'd come back and join us here on What's Burning. We had you on the Community Spotlight Show like last week. Yeah. And uh, and then the news breaks right after we talked to you about this huge new development in Osage Beach. And you came and you said, I just couldn't tell you yet. I, I had nope. to keep it under wraps. No, nope. it was something we knew about for quite a while. Uh, even the aldermen didn't know. There was a, a big announcement that came out. We had a meeting night before it came out and I was just chomping at the bit because one of the aldermen kept saying, if we could just think of a way to get 500,000 more people down here. And I just wanted to say something so bad. <laughs> yeah. So uh, anyway, the next day I said, by the way, here you go. Uh, here's your 500,000 people. So, right. Yeah, it's beautiful stuff. So if you haven't heard yet, uh, Osage Beach announcing that you've got a new theme park coming in. Big Thunder is highly involved in this. Uh, where in the world are you going to put a theme park in Osage Beach? If you're familiar with the Grand Glaze Bridge, mm -hmm. on one side you have Top Cider. This will be right across the, the the water okay where the celebration boat used to sit yep uh there's 20 acres there and so uh, they already own the property so we're not looking for waiting on that and uh they're ready to go they came out with a, a very impressive plan uh the, the pictures and if you go on facebook you can actually a virtual tour of it and it's it's a 300 million dollar project yeah they're anticipating starting uh, next year being done by memorial day 2014 that's 24, 24 right. 2024. Uh, and then uh, it sounds like a quick turnaround time, but with them owning the property, and, and uh, it'll happen. Okay, so uh, the pictures that we see are just right there on that point where the celebration boats used correct, to be. Correct. But there's 20 acres involved of this, so there's a lot more land around there involved. Correct, and there's two phases. The first phase is a theme park. The se second phase, they're looking at doing a, a high-end uh, hotel, Mm -hmm. uh, high-end condominiums, but even the developers said if this first phase goes better than they even thought, they yeah. can always switch gears and make more theme parks. One thing that we've not done a good job with yet, because somebody on Facebook said, where's everybody, get, every, where's everybody going to park? Right. Uh, they do have a parking garage also planned, and okay. I'm trying to think, about 500 units. 125 outside, the rest in a, in a four or five tier uh, parking garage. Okay. Right there on property. So the 20 acres, is it like all contiguous? It's all together? Correct. There, okay. Yes, so yes. really they can go in phases as they want right, and right. not have to work. So what my, the big question that popped into my mind when I saw this, Osage Beach, right beside Grand Glaze Bridge there, right by Dog Days yes, down yes, that road, yes. Jeffrey's Road. So what is that going to do for traffic coming across the bridge? Is that going to bottleneck things? Is it going to be doable traffic-wise? It is. They've done studies on that. Uh, we do have, depending on who you talk to, 12, 14 million visitors coming down here. So, mm -hmm. uh, And that is not necessarily going to be 500,000 new visitors, mm -hmm. but certainly going to be new visitors. But of those coming down here, that stay two days because they do the, the lake one day, they do all the amenities and the ha ha tonka the next, then what do they do and do all that? Well, now they're gonna stay down here for an entire week. So, yeah. uh, but to answer your question, and one thing that I was hoping you asked me about today was that, okay. because from the very beginning, I've, I've had this idea and I threw it out there and the first thing we're about, there's way too much money, way too much, but I've got people very interested on the state level now. Mm -hmm. And I said, we need a walk slash bike pathway, a brand new bridge all by itself, running equal to the Grand Glaze. Really? Kind of parallel right exactly. beside it? You could go right from Top Cider all the way to the new Oasis. Mm -hmm. And like I told the developers, I said, if you could get involved in this project, everybody that goes from one side of Osage Beach to the other, right now they can't walk, they can't ride their bike. But if they are on a bike and they have their own pathway, they could literally, everybody go through that park. So somebody, uh, Magic Dragon Bike Trail is becoming huge now. Yeah. They could connect, connect our city from one side to the other, and let's say somebody's riding their bike from, you know, Osage Beach, and they're going to hook up a Katy Trail. They have to go through the Oasis. Yeah. And they didn't plan on stopping. They didn't plan on going on a ride or having a cold beer. Or, but now they're there. They're going to spend 60, 80 bucks. And the nice thing about the Oasis is it's free to go. Each ride will have its own price tag, so you can just choose whether to go or not. So it's not like a 
a theme park would cost you hundred dollars to spend all day. So it's not like Disney World where you gotta you know get a loan just to get in the park. <laughs> not at all. Okay. Not at all. And, and the big old Ferris wheel, it, they are looking for twelve months out of the year. Mm -hmm. the, the pods are going to be heated and air conditioned. Wow. So uh, they want to do Thanksgiving things down there. They want to have Christmas events. There's going to be an amphitheater. They'll have a water park. They can, not a water park, but water things going on that you can vi vi uh, view. Yeah. And that's what I was telling other people. I mean, Topsider eventually is going to have about 500 people. Yeah. They're sitting there some night, and they're thinking, ah, oh, I, I can hear people over the other side of the lake, and, ah. Uh, I'm six beers in. I'm not going to drive over there, you know. But they can walk across. They can bike across, and they can enjoy the amphitheater. Just don't fall oh, in the water, yeah, yeah. right? So, yeah. and, and so, this is very, very good news for our city. Uh, the lieutenant governor's involved. Um, he's he's spoken out on this, and this is not only economic development for Lake of the Ozarks and Osage Beach for the entire state. We are going to be the mecca for the next few years. Wow, that's amazing. Well, you said uh, when you were campaigning, uh, let's make Osage Beach great again, and mm -hmm. seems like you're on the path there, man. Yeah, I don't know where I got that, but it was, it was kind of, <laughs> it kind of, some other people took hold of that. But no, and I, I, I don't want to make it sound like something I'm doing, but I, I have let developers know. We're open for business, we're pro-growth, we're pro-entrepreneurship, um, and then you get into the weeds. Uh, somebody asked me earlier, is, is everybody for this? Well, obviously, some people are going to say no. Right. You know, somebody on social networking said, well, now what's going to happen to our quiet little lake? Well, I'm sorry. It's, it's not a quiet little lake. Mm, yeah, and, I think that was kind of gone right. a few years ago. And you've got, there's plenty of things for the adults to do. There's plenty of things for little kids to do. But we need more family-oriented. And those kids that are 14, 16, 18, they're not going to do the bar scene. And the family comes down here, they're going to do it. You know, a day of the fun stuff on the dam. They're going to do a day at Ha Ha Tonka. But now they can spend two days at this place. Yeah. And, and now we have other developers reaching out to us. Now that this is coming, wow. they're looking at other things. So yep. this is this is It snowballs. Great. Oh, yep. beautiful, beautiful. You know, there's so much we could talk about. I could bring up the mall. I could bring up the new apartments over there off Nichols and stuff, but we don't have time. So we're going to have to ha invite you to come back certainly, on. Certainly. And uh, we'll catch up with all that stuff. But congratulations on the announcement of the Thank uh, you so much. This is park. great. That's uh, Mayor Michael Harmison here on What's Burning. So coming up next, I know you want to get to know Miss froggy, right? Well, you'll get to do that because we've got our veterinaries, Cat and Canine uh, special coming up with uh, furry friends right after this.